Oh, y'all could be loud. I'm from Brooklyn, so we, boom, we can get in here. Cool. Woo! I've never been surprised before until a cold November day. As I waited in a gritty Brooklyn train station, you rolled up behind me. I heard the ballad of your voice slow wind the words, have you been waiting long? I froze as if 30,000 people at a sold out Madison Square Garden were screaming my name. I turned around to see your perfect skyline smile accompanied by your gunshot pierced dimples. Your presence alone can change nations. As we blossomed out of the train station and into the attitude of a New York winner on our way to juniors, I saw that your walk has its own dialect. So let my lips be Rosetta Stone to translate the language of your curves. Let my whispers unfold into your skin, get trapped in the quicksand of your thighs. Let my hands surrender to your body. Yours becoming a DJ to scratch the vinyl of my back, your laugh. It's like a Jay Dilla instrumental to the mixtape of my life. You're my greatest graffiti piece. Spray painted on the subway cars of my performances and after shows. I watch women try to pickpocket what they feel are similarities out of these poems to dress themselves in in hopes to con their way into a screen print of you. But you were already a masterpiece when I found you. I just turned my poems into an open gallery for you. Watching you exist in my burrow caused a pandemonium of butterflies in my stomach. When I saw you smile like a book on a shelf that had been waiting to be read as you found yourself lost in the brownstones on my old block. This day, we were all Brooklyn, all Bed-Stuy, bodega dates and neighborhood kids. You were the perfect filter to brighten what is always pictured on these cold streets. As we double dutched our way through all the corners that are filled with stories of my life, you saw past the robberies and the weed smoke, my Hennessy stained lips when you told me that you wanted to move to Brooklyn, that you felt like you belonged here, that this is where your heart is, and at times, I know your heart is full of riots, but in the neighborhood where I'm from, a riot with you will look like an explosion of sunflowers set to the backdrop of an Ethiopian sunrise at this moment. I had trouble finding the difference between fantasy and what's real, and then I knew I did my job. For you to see all things that I find beautiful will always have traces of you in it. See, you're a mystery that I enjoy not solving. So I sit back, and watch you uncoil as the main character and a lifetime worth of my poems. <laughs>